everybody in the cosmetics program knows that this is also the most dreadful class. This class sets you up for failure. In my opinion, it was a letdown for me. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mariah and welcome. You're probably watching this video because one, you don't know about FIT's cosmetics and fragrance marketing program and you want to learn more or you know about it already and you're interested in going. Um, so this video is going to be all for you. I'm going to be doing an updated spring semester recaps, I guess. I recently talked about um, the CFM program at FIT in Manhattan and I talked about my first semester there and kind of recapped my experience and I've gotten so many more questions and I've decided that every semester I'm gonna do a recap and answer questions and just talk about my semester and how it went. So if you guys wanna know more about the CFM program, then just keep on watching because I'm about to get all up into it. No filter whatsoever. All right, so if this is your first time seeing my face um, and hearing about this major in any way from me, uh, you should probably watch the first video. I'll probably answer a lot of questions and really talk a lot more about how to get into the major and all that good stuff. So I'll leave it up here. You can click on that link. Watch that video first because that's talking more about my first semester and it'll really introduce you to the major and then this one is going to be a little bit more expanded on that. I just finished my semester yesterday. I'm waiting for the semester to end so I can do this recap video video for everyone and talk about how everything went down. First I'm going to talk about every single one of my classes that I've taken this semester, really break it down, what we did, what I liked, what I didn't like, and then I'm going to get into a Q&A at the end from questions from you guys from Instagram. I had so many great questions, so stick around to the end so you can see that Q&A. Let's get started. The first class I had on Mondays from 3 to 6 was comparative political systems. This was just a gen ed I had to take. Um, and I was really upset about this class because I really wanted to take the class Latin America today, but it just didn't fit with my schedule. So I took comparative political systems and I was like, oh my god, politics. I hate politics. I went into it like really like, like just I went into it with a bad attitude to begin with because I just heard the word politics in there. And I have to say it was one of my most fun classes. I've learned so much. It was really great. It almost felt like a sociology class, almost like a discussion, and it wasn't like politics, politics. Like everyone had a country that they were researching with a group and like presenting on. So like my group, we did the United States and like we learned more about the government and then we focused on three social problems and like presented it. We talked about the election. We talked about fashion because around the time was New York Fashion Week. And then we also talked about Central Park Five and racial wars in America. So that was really interesting. But the class was really great. It was a lot of work to begin with. Um, we read a lot of New York Times and all that and I became addicted to the New York Times and I was reading it even if it wasn't for a class and just finding new articles and there was so many great documentaries we watched that really opened my eyes and we learned about China and we learned about India and we were able to watch movies about these countries and it really just opened my eyes to different cultures and I felt like it was learning more about cultures than like the actual political system. So I really, really liked that. I learned so much. That class was great. Even um, when everything went remote and went online, the professor was really easy on us and we still watched these documentaries on our own time and never really complained about it. It really wasn't that bad. There was a good amount of work we had to do, but it was manageable and the teacher was being flexible because of the circumstances. But the class was really, really great and I will continue reading the New York Times because it was. First class on Tuesdays was product knowledge. So from 9 to 11 was lecture and then 11 to 1 was lab. You guys need to get a snack. You need to get a, a glass of water or whatever you're drinking today. You need to buckle your seatbelt because this is a good one. We're going to talk about this one. We're going to really get in depth with this one. Um, so product knowledge is not a gen ed. Product knowledge is a class we have to take in the major. It's one of the classes that everybody looks forward to. Like you look forward to this class because you're finally getting into your major and you're doing something that isn't marketing. You're doing something beyond marketing and that is 
products. You're learning about products, you're learning about how products are made, and then you're making these products in lab for fun. So everyone is looking forward to this class. You come into this major and it's like, yes, product knowledge, like we're gonna be here, we're gonna be making shampoo and conditioner, and we're really gonna be learning about these products and how they're made, especially if you're interested in product development, like me. We're going to learn about the products. And this gives you an advantage over regular marketing students when you enter the beauty industry because you have a basic knowledge of ingredients and how they work and how they're formulated to make these products. So you really learn a lot and it's such an important class and it's so interesting. So going into it, we're like, yes, but everybody in the cosmetics program knows that this is also the most dreadful class and it is because there's only one professor that teaches it he's really hard and this is the hardest class you will take this class sets you up for failure i'm just gonna put it out there i'm not gonna sugarcoat this the class sets you up for failure the class is ridiculous the class is my opinion it was a letdown i didn't learn a single thing It was very interesting, it was cool to make these things, but don't ask me what a surfactant is because I still don't know. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna, we're gonna get into it. The class has a lot of topics we talk about. We talk about a little bit of chemistry at first, but we've already taken chemistry last semester. So it's just like, you know, you have that basic knowledge. Then you talk about like toners, you talk about shower gels, you talk about bar soap, you talk about lip balms, you talk about lotions, you talk about face creams, you talk about conditioners, shampoos, you talk about so many different products. You do talk a little bit about color cosmetic and you really get into how they're made. This is typically a class that has a very chemist based background. Um, these are people who make the products um, and I have to say our professor is very knowledgeable. He has a degree in this. He's worked for huge companies creating formulas for different products and he has a great amount of knowledge. The thing is the structure of this class is set up to make you fail. He tells you in the beginning of the year, you're going to fail. He tells you because you're going to fail and everyone is going to fail, I have to curve all your grades up at the end of the semester to a B or an A. In my opinion, that is not effective teaching. In my opinion, that means you're making it ridiculously hard that everyone has to fail. It doesn't need to be that hard. Like I understand there's a lot of information, but the questions could be a lot easier. There could be a different way of approaching it and not everyone will be failing. So I have all of my quizzes. On top of that, every week we have a quiz, which is good. There is a lot of information. The quizzes, the quizzes are only 10 questions which is horrible because one question and you're already like at an 80 um, but you're gonna fail all of them so if you're someone who like literally gets paranoid over failing you will lose that real quick because you will fail every week and you'll just be like I cool but not only do you fail these quizzes but you get ranked against the other people in your class so that's really fun um, so I'll show you uh, my quiz number four I have it right here I got a 12 out of 30 that's probably like a 50 or 60. Um, and then I get a little rank. So here, it's here it says rank 12. So that means out of the 23 or 24 kids in my class, I'm ranked at number 12 based on this grade. So you know, you're looking around, you're like, who got number one? Because that means they got the highest grade on this quiz. Um, so that's something about the quizzes. They're ridiculously hard. You will not find the answers in the PowerPoints because I never could. Um, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. And I'm telling you, it's like 70 slides of information every week that you're learning. That's literally you could not remember unless you studied every single day like a chemist or a biology student or anything um and then you take these quizzes and they're ridiculously hard and you're not gonna remember all that information it's literally impossible because one you're not going to school to become a chemist you're not learning you're not here to make ingredients for the rest of your life you're a marketing student this class is supposed to help you it's supposed to give you extra knowledge not make it seem like you're going out into the field and doing this tomorrow another thing is is that the way this was kind of approached in the beginning of the semester was it made it seem like we've been taking classes similar to this the entire semester that we already should come into this with a knowledge we came into it with no knowledge and the semester started the first day and we went into everything and i automatically got lost i automatically didn't know the basic terms i i wish from the beginning there was like a basics of like here's just the definition of a surfactant here's just the definition of glycerin like this is exactly what glycerin is like i wish there was just like a basic like overall so i could start with it and be like okay like these are the basics now let's dive deeper and talk about 
their roles in products. And don't worry, I gave all this feedback on the evaluation form so the chairperson knows, the professor knows that this is exactly how I feel. Lab is super fun. You don't really know what you're doing. Uh, he doesn't really help you. It's kind of just like a free-for-all, like, here's what you gotta do and do it and if you need help ask me so uh, you get a booklet i will show you what the booklet looks like uh it's product knowledge lab obviously these aren't all the labs you're able to do the semester was cut short you have literally the instructions everything you need to do you're testing ph you're testing density you're testing viscosity you learn all of that and then you have to fill out batch sheet, batch sheets so this is like what a batch sheet looks like it has the ingredients how much is needed of each ingredient the steps to making everything and then you make the things um, the good thing is that you make these things, they should be safe. Our professor has a degree and knows how to make these products, um, but it is kind of like a use at your own risk because if you do something wrong and it's not good, be careful. Um, but first we made a lip balm. So I have my little lip balm right here. And like you could literally, like this I use, it's just a lip balm. We also made a lotion. So this is my lotion. And doesn't really smell that great. There's preservatives in these, so they will last a while. Um, but this is the lotion that we made. Just, you know, regular lotion. I don't really use it that much. A lot of these products I don't use besides the lip balm. I just have them just for memories. You know, made these things. It was really cool to make, seeing how they're actually made. Then we made a face cream. Um, this one's kind of bubbly. It kind of looks like putty. So this is our face cream that we made. That was fun. Then we made a rose toner, which is probably the funnest ever. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, at Mariah Elise Makeup, I have a highlight. It's called CFM Major, and you can see when I made all of these, the process and everything. Um, but this is the rose toner. I've been afraid to use this, but we used actual rose petals and put them in here. So this is a rose toner. And then we made a shower gel. So this is the shower gel we made and these don't have fragrances in them so i mean they smell like just plain nastiness but that's it and this is our lab notebook so every time we make these things we have to take notes we have to fill out batch sheets um so now when everything went remote and we went online i felt like this was one of the classes where it didn't become easier it became harder um one we didn't have lab to apply what we were learning to actually making it i'm a visual learner i need to see it being made i need to make it i need to get in there and i feel like i wasn't getting that it was hard to keep track in this class another thing is is because you're starting from the beginning with the mindset of like you're going to fail this is not going to be a good class it's not easy no one gets an a you just have no motivation like you're you know okay like i'm gonna fail but my grade's gonna get curved up so whatever and that's literally the mindset you will have. So before, you know, I'm warning you, don't have that mindset. Try as best as you can. Especially when things went online, I really didn't care anymore. I was barely listening to lecture. I just went back to bed um, because I was kind of like, whatever, like I'm not learning anything anyways. Um, and because there's so much information and you are failing and these quizzes are really hard, no one's retaining this information there's a good amount I did learn, but there's a lot more I could have learned, and I didn't really retain the information. Which is so unfortunate because this stuff could give you such, such a huge advantage, and maybe, you know, this summer with the quarantine and my job being closed, maybe I'll have time to actually sit down at my own pace and relearn this course on my own terms, um, just from the slides in the textbook, because I feel like it does have a good amount of knowledge. When things went remote, we still had our online quizzes every week, you would think they would be easier because we could just look up the answers and I had all my notes and slides in front of me. Wrong, I could actually never find an answer in a PowerPoint and did worse on the quizzes than I actually did when we were in school. So there was just never a point where I felt like I was winning in this class. This class was rough. Um, I'm so happy it is beyond over and hopefully they do make a change to the structure of this class because it was wild. Enough with product knowledge. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's going to stress me out. The semester ended. I'm done with it. I want to close the chapter on that one and never look back at it. The next Tuesday class was from 2 to 5 and that was the fundamentals of finance and for fashion industries or something. Which, I don't know why it, was, it had the word fashion in it because it was applied for fashion majors and for cosmetics students so it was just basic finance so it was like compounding annually looking at finance sheets um income statements 
learning about stocks and bonds, learning about the exchange rates, so converting US dollars to pounds and pounds to euros and learning all that math behind that. I'm someone who enjoys math, so I wasn't really bothered by the class. The professor I had was really great as well, and I was doing well in the class until everything went remote. I don't know what happened, but I did good on my final, so. But I did enjoy the class. I felt like I learned a lot um, and the class wasn't too bad, especially, you know, like I said, I like math. I'm someone who generally does good in math and a lot of the concepts learned in here I had taken previously either in my FBM major courses for math or last semester math classes. So I felt like I had a basic understanding of a lot of the concepts we were talking about. We did use a lot of Excel as well. Um, and it was it was good information to know like like for business, you know, so I wasn't really upset about taking it It was an okay class. I liked the professor. I liked our class like we were really engaged We were really cool. So I always looked forward to going to that class It felt more chill especially after product knowledge. So that class wasn't too shabby. All right, and then Wednesday mornings um, from 9 to 12 I had my packaging for cosmetics students. I think it was called. I don't know. It was just a packaging class that one was probably the one I was looking most forward to because I love packaging. I love, that's the thing that gets me with makeup. If it has good packaging, I'm buying it. I don't care what's inside. And a lot of the products I own, I keep the packaging because I feel like it just really adds to the entire story and theme of a product. So I was really excited for this class. The professor was super chill. He was more of like a mentor than a professor because... He didn't really like lecture, he like really taught and like visually showed things and was really hands on. Um, it was a really interesting class, he provided so much information um, and he has his own company and he does packaging for other brands and he works with companies like L'Oreal and does their packaging so it was a really great insight talking about the costs of things and how to get creative, it was really fun. Our project, we did it individually, was to create a skincare line for Halsey, like a, a fake one, obviously she, we weren't actually like making it for her, but it was like if Halsey were to come out with a skincare line, what would it look like? Um, so we had to make the packaging and we had to do um, everything. So I mean, I'll insert like some clips here of my, my project. Um, don't steal it though. <laughs> I've worked really hard on it. It was tedious to do, but it was fun. I was really happy with the outcome. And for our presentations, we presented them online to the class and he actually brought in some people. So we had, uh, what was it, the VP of creative for L'Oreal. She came in. Um, and then the VP of marketing for Maybelline was there and she was giving us feedback so they were looking at our products and they were just telling us what they thought and I'm super happy because the VP of Maybelline had good comments to say about mine, nothing negative, she really liked my vibe so I was really happy about that, it felt great um, to be recognized by someone who does so much for a company that you love um, so that was great and you know the professor also brought in guest speakers that you know showed us their work with packaging and you know, the brands they've worked for, people who have worked for Kim Kardashian doing their her fragrance packaging and all different fun things. So that was a really great class and I thought it was a lot of fun. Next Wednesday class um, I had from 2 to 5 and it was business communications, something, something like that. It was an English class technically, but it was probably the best English class I've ever taken in my entire life because you actually learned things that you needed. <laughs> Um, and we learned all about important documents in the business world so we learned how to properly write letters and you really like it's eye-opening to see like how to properly write a letter and like the format so that's great because you're gonna have to write a letter eventually and you're gonna work for companies they might ask you to write a formal letter um, so we learned how to write letters we learned how to write proper memos we learned how to write proper emails emails asking for people letter recommendations which is something I always struggle with I never know what to write in those emails and we learned how to properly write an email asking someone for letter recommendation we learned how to write emails accepting job offers and also denying job offers which is so great to learn because you never really know what to say when you're like rejecting something that was super helpful and then we also perfected our resumes and our cover letters so that was really great that was like the first half of the semester the second half of the semester was creating a business proposal from scratch for a dream business. So mine was a cosmetics line um, and that was really hard because I put a lot of work into it and then my professor was like, uh, you don't really have a vision here, it's a little bit of a mess, I want you to redo the whole thing. And I was frustrated, it took a lot of time, I ended up perfecting it, it was really great but it was a business plan, everything from 
the costs, the budget, the marketing, how it's going to work, our background, what's our market like. Like it was so in depth. And yeah, maybe not everyone is going to be creating their own business, but it was really helpful to learn all of these things and write one out and get into that detail. It was really, really, really great class. I learned so much. Now that is it for the classes I took. I only took five classes, um, which is average. I'm on track for graduation next year. And I cannot believe that I am about to be a senior. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the Q&A portion on my Instagram. I asked a bunch of people if they had any questions about the major. I get so many people that have watched my previous video and they come to my Instagram and they DM me and they ask questions. Um, so you can always do that as well if these videos don't really answer everything, maybe you have more questions. Go to my Instagram, DM me, ask me your questions. I'm always I'm gonna answer the first question is is everyone a makeup god slash goddess um no <laughs> there's people who wear a full beat every day and do makeup on instagram and do all that jazz there's people who wear a regular amount of makeup and they're just interested in it there's people who never wear makeup and maybe they're just interested in skincare maybe there's also people who are interested in the fragrance aspect of cosmetics and fragrance marketing so not everyone is like full beat full glam i know me i don't go to class in a full beat every day like not that but not everyone is interested in makeup a lot of people are there for different parts of the major next question is do you get to experience both product development and marketing for cosmetics so i would say um product knowledge was a good I wouldn't say it was really showing you what a product developer does because it was more of like making the products and product developers do not make that, but it does give you an insight like into like how are the products made. Um, you don't actually, so far I haven't really taken a class that's just going to walk you through like this is what a product developer does in the day-to-day -day life. A lot of it is marketing, um, but you can still get jobs in product development, a lot of people do. I don't get too much to product development, maybe senior year, I don't know. Um, I will let you guys know how that goes. Do you still recommend the major? I'm starting CFM next year. So congratulations on getting into the major um, because it is a really tough major and that's you should be really proud of yourself for getting in. It is such a small major and they're very selective. So pat yourself on the back. Congratulations. Um, yes, I still recommend the major. I would say this major is not for people who just love makeup. Like, you need to have a love for makeup, but there's so much more beyond makeup. There's body products involved. There's fragrance involved. We do a lot more beyond makeup. So if you're someone who's just like, well, I like to do a full beat and take pictures for Instagram, you have to have a, a curiosity for the business of it and for just beyond makeup. Like, you have to have a curiosity for the skincare, for body products, for a bunch of different things, because you're gonna learn so many different things. Um, but you also, you also have to have a huge curiosity for the business side as well, um, and really like business. So I do recommend the major. There is a lot more that you can do. You don't have to graduate and only work for beauty. Like, if you wanna just work for a company doing social media or something, like, you can totally do that. You can apply this to any kind of marketing position or things like that, you know? So, and it is really good. I do recommend the major. It's very hands-on because it's small. You really get to know everyone. Um, the professors are really well and knowledgeable. So yeah, I do recommend the major and the best of luck to you. Biggest piece of advice for a junior entering the program. I'm going to say one network with your classmates. It's a very small major, so it's a huge, huge advantage that you really get to see these people every single day for two years and really get to know them and really network with them because a lot of people are going to have connections and they're going to have internships that they might be able to give you an internship where they work. Um, and also once you graduate, a lot of CFM graduates reconnect and they provide you useful information and you want to network with the people. Make sure you really, really network because the beauty industry is extremely small. You will see when you start applying for jobs there it's really cutthroat out there um so it's going to be important to not know someone because it's not about who you know it's about who knows you so that's like the number one advice it's not about who you know it's about who knows you and who's gonna say your name when they think of a job opportunity or they have a job opening at their job so remember that network 
never end things on bad terms with people because this industry is very small and you're gonna want to keep those ties with people that you've graduated with another thing too is this is a very unique major and like I said the beauty industry is very cutthroat and you cannot get disappointed I got such so disappointed this first year because I thought I was gonna get an internship I thought I was gonna do this this and this for such a high-end companies and when I tell you I've had the worst luck with internships and I've gotten rejected from huge companies for internships it was really 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 like mentally draining to get that and to be ghosted not even rejected but ghosted from some companies that you absolutely love and admire so it is overwhelming it is going to be a cutthroat and you're going to kind of feel you might have good luck you might never have that experience like me if it does happen because the beauty industry is very cutthroat and is very small just always keep your head up and just just keep keep going keep going someone asked in this major would i be able to find connections if i wanted to start or create a cosmetics line i wouldn't say that this major is about starting your own line it's not it's also not like a cosmetology course a lot of people think that a lot of people think they're gonna learn how to do makeup that's not what it is it's a it's business this is business um, I think this major is going to equip you with learning how to write a business proposal how to have effective marketing and social media for your cosmetics line you're not necessarily going to be given every single connection of like here are all the vendors you can go to to start your own eyeshadow palette and things like that and i think it's also going to put costs into perspective the cost of makeup and the process to make makeup and not even makeup but everything makeup skincare fragrance body products you're gonna learn a bunch of different things um, but it's not going to be like here is this this and this you're gonna find people you're gonna have connections through you know guest speakers that come that maybe have started their own line or you know they work for um, a packaging company and things like that those are good connections to also have because when you do want to start your own business and you have the funds for that maybe you reach out to that guest speaker you remember that has their own packaging line and maybe they can do the packaging for your cosmetics in a way it is going to give you connections but you're not probably going to connect it right away because it's not going to be like here's a connection for when you want to start your own line they're not going to say that because it's not what they're there for but it's something that you could remember and take business cards from the people that come in to speak and then when you're ready you can reach out to those people you can also reach out to professors and ask them for their advice some of them have worked for such high-end companies and they have a great deal of knowledge and maybe they have their own businesses and things like that so um, just always keep connections with people and networking is so important so the next person says would you recommend BFM and CFM for someone wanting to create their own cosmetics line. I think you meant FBM, like I think you switched it wrong. I think you meant fashion business management and then cosmetics and fragrance marketing. Um, if you watched my first video, I'm kind of assuming you are, you already did. Um, I did FBM for my associates for my two years and then I went into CFM. Um, I feel like that was the best way to go into it because a lot of the knowledge from FBM really applied to cosmetics um, because we learned marketing, we learned those basics, we learned a lot of things that were really applied like the math and everything behind that. So I feel like it applied very well to CFM for me. I wouldn't say you necessarily need to have an FBM background in order to start your own cosmetics line. Um, I don't think anyone, you know, you don't necessarily need a specific de degree to start a cosmetics line. You're already gonna have CFM in your back pocket. If you go into advertising and marketing communications, that's that would help you as well for your own cosmetics line because you're gonna learn PR and you're gonna learn um, advertising and you're gonna learn such a different array of knowledge. So I feel like whatever other degree you have, you're still gonna have valuable information that you could apply, unless it's like, illustration and it doesn't really apply to business but any prior business degree or prior business experience would help you to create your own cosmetic line um another thing too is there's so much information on the internet to be honest that you could literally start your own cosmetics line with no degree in business there's some people who have done it before um business degree will help you because it's gonna help you understand the business of it but you don't necessarily need a business degree but a business background would help if that makes sense all right guys so that is all the questions that i got on my instagram if you still have more questions or maybe this conversation sparked some new questions uh feel free to comment them down below or feel free to go to my instagram and dm me and i will gladly answer you um Please make sure you watch the previous CFM video if you haven't already. And I also have a whole entire playlist dedicated to the Fashion Institute of Technology. 
and all of my experiences and all that and there's so much information so if you're interested in going into FIT to begin with um, there's a lot of information there so check out those videos first before you ask any questions because I might be answering them in those previous videos thank you guys so much for watching thank you for asking questions and I hope this was helpful in any way overall I would say my semester was really hard um, since the first day of the semester, I was stressed. Um, there was a lot of work. It finally felt like college, I have to say. Um, before this, I felt like it was a breeze. I was, you know, I had a good hold of everything going on. And then this semester, it went off the rails. Even before COVID-19 happened, it things were getting real. I was feeling like a real college student. I was booked and busy and there was a lot happening in the classes and the content was so much harder. So... I really felt it this semester. I'm so glad it is over, that it's in the past. I know next semester will be just as hard, but I will film an update once fall semester is over and keep you guys in the loop. So hit that subscribe button because I'll be making more videos about FIT, about my experience in the cosmetics and fragrance marketing program. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!